you know, some of the things that we do different. Um, it's a learning curve sometimes for people coming into the organization, but also when we're talking to clients, they're not accustomed to the way we operate either. So like it's refreshing if you understand it, but sometimes there's, there's like a, people don't know what to expect. Right. So, so talk a little bit about like the, the process of how people get into the company through onboarding, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, absolutely. So I have a little bit of real estate experience more on like a transaction coordinator side, executive assistant side. Um, but the way that we help clients, I think is really a unique process that's different from other new home builders. So we take clients through an onboarding experience. And one of the first things we do with clients is have a discovery call. So when you go to our website and fill out a contact form, you'll put in your county and state. And the cool thing is you'll be directed directly to the office that is closest to where you're building. So you'll be talking to an agent who is local to your area. So they're they're aware of, you know, the counties, they're aware of, you know, the, the land topography, all of that. So when you hop on a call with them, we'll do a discovery call. And that's when we're going to learn about all of your build goals um, and just what your dreams are, you know, what your land setup is. And then, you know, we talk to you about onboarding. And so onboarding, I like to tell our clients that it's a due diligence period. So we are walking you through every step of the build before we get to doing the build. And I think it is such a valuable process. And I think that, um, you know, in terms of understanding the full scope of work that needs to take place before we ever break ground, we do that all on the front end. So there's cost transparency. We're collecting all of your important documents. We're getting, um, you know, quotes for grading and septic and well, and we're really exploring what does it cost to build your designed home on your piece of property. Yep. Yeah. And, that, and the, the, the beauty of that, and we talk about this all the time, but still, 50% of the phone calls start with, what's onboarding? You right. know, so <laughs> so if, if you've heard this before, you're going to hear it again and again and again because it's different. It's 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 kind of the barn door difference is choose us, not you, or yeah, choose us, not use us. And so you get to take that baby step, walk through, get everything you've got, you know, five five thousand, seven thousand bucks invested, mm -hmm. right? But you're not committed to having to pull the trigger on the whole project. And we're not going to blindside you with surprises. If you're going to have a surprise, it's going to rear its head right. in the beginning. And so if there's a cost hurdle, if there's a, you know, a land hurdle, mm -hmm. you're going to know that relatively quick. Yep. And so you can plan for it and it gives you the opportunity to where we're not six months into the process or you've signed a contract to build and now you're getting hit with surprise fee, surprise fee, surprise fee. And it's you're, you're on the hook to pay it. That's right. Um, so we're trying to do some of that planning on the front end. And honestly, we're looking for problems. Yeah. We're looking for what that hurdle is going to be so that we can find it and find a solution around it to keep you in budget. Mm -hmm. And so... Sometimes it, you know, it's it's high emotion yeah. in, in sales. You're dealing with people's dreams, and you know, the pe people can spend what they can spend. And so the the objective is to work together, become a team, and identify the hurdles, identify where you're going to have problems. Um, what what's the budget buster? What's this? You know, like hey, uh, we designed a home and it it won't quite fit on the property because of the way the land's sitting, or we did this, and so now we have the opportunity. To, to find that problem, diagnose it, go back in, adjust, and and move forward so that when you get to the point of signing a contract, you know exactly what you're spending. And so that's a huge piece uh, in our process. And so like, and, and, and the whole, you, you talked about being uh, the experience coordinator. So we talked about that, like we just did an episode with yes. Haley and Jordan, kind of rolling that out and what that looks like. But in that, the goal is that you have a great experience building your home. Not only do you get the home that you signed up to buy, but one thing that we're trying to become better at and be the best at is you had the best experience possible. Nothing was a surprise during the build process. Nothing, you know, blindsided you. Um, you may see something on that front end when the proposal comes back. We were like, oh, my God. <laughs> but, but the cool thing, like, we're not – contractually under anything that we can't change at that point. That's right. So, so yeah, so the onboarding process is, th there's no way that I would, I would do it any other way um, because it gives us the opportunity. It puts the power back in the client's hands to pull out, yep. 
and say, hey, we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to explore other options or, hey, let's 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 navigate through this and let's figure out a path forward so that when we do sign the contract, we know. Right? That's right. And so that's been really cool. So in your time here, uh, what's been your best or craziest thing or funnest project that you've been a part of or, you know, I mean, I think the funnest project I've been a part of is moving to Tennessee and <laughs> launching that market. Like that one, that one has been like my little baby for the last two months and just having honestly a lot of ownership over that process. Um, and leadership has given, put a lot of faith in me to navigate that and, um, to take care of all of the details associated with that. You know, in terms of my clients, I have, for me, the the best thing that's happened is I've had really great feedback from my clients. They've gone through the process and they have enjoyed it. We're breaking ground on most of their homes right now, or we're in the process of, of um, you know, through framing and stuff. And so um, to just see people come to me with dreams and then we've figured out all of the details and now we're building the home. And that's that process still just brings to me so much joy. And it still amazes me about like, you know, the, the speed at which we move through that. Um, but also just the relationships that we're building with our clients as we go through that process and bring their dreams into reality. Thanks guys for tuning in to the Barndo Show podcast. If you're watching on YouTube or wherever you're listening to this content, uh, hit subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And then be sure to check us out on all of our social media platforms at the Barndo Co. Super simple to find us. And then when you're ready to dive in a little more, maybe look around some of our available floor plan options or take a look at the gallery of our work, or maybe you're ready to connect with our team and explore what it looks like to build your dream barndominium. You can visit us online at thebarndoco.com.